Last year, Parliament appointed a select committee headed by Nachifuma County MP, Engineer Robert Sector Kokafero, to investigate the award of multi billion dollar tenders for the standard gauge railway line after reports emerged it was tainted by graft. The committee spent millions of shillings on costly trips to China, Ethiopia, and Kenya as MPs tried to gather more evidence on claims that fingerprints of senior government officials were smeared all over the deal. The deal that originally was at $8.5 billion, as the minister was here denying, has now shot up to $11.3 billion. Parliament also adopted a resolution that until the probe is complete, no contract should be awarded. However, by the stroke of a pen on the 30th March 2015, Museveni signed a contract with China Harbour and Engineering Corporation to start constructing the eastern route of the standard gauge railway line. Lawmakers now claim the president's decision that amounts to contempt of parliament. We were not only surprised but also shocked to learn that government has actually signed by none other than the president in the absence of the solicitor general, in the absence of the attorney general, and in the absence of the deputy attorney general. Now, the president is committing this country to a 14 billion investment. In the history of this country, there has never been any contract, any project worth that magnitude in the history of this country. This is not the first time that the president ignores a parliament resolution. However, a resolution of parliament is not binding on the executive. For us as a committee, we are not even bothered about that because that is not our mandate. Whether government went ahead and signed the contract with any Chinese company, for us we are concentrating on our report, which report we shall bring on the floor of parliament. The report could join a return of other investigations whose findings continue to gather dust on the shelves after taxpayers' money was spent on these probes. Yet what had emerged during the probe seemed to correlate revelations that graft had seeped through the corridors of power before the award of the tender. In January 2015, a former permanent secretary in the works ministry, Charles Muganzi, told the select committee that senior officials pocketed 3 billion shillings during a bidding dog fighting involving two Chinese farms, China Harbor and Engineering Corporation, and China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation. This incident also cast doubt on government's commitment to fight graft which has pervaded the fabric of society. Jingo Francis, NTV Weekend Edition.